My name is Braden Moletta um, and I'm a rural uh, volunteer firefighter with the Sounds Brigade. Well, we've just gone up in the helicopter here and do a recce, an overview of what's happened in the Sounds. So we have uh, some damage to houses but it's very localised, it's not a large covered area, it's a localised damage. And obviously the road is, is very, you know, there's a lot of severe damage to slips and slumps on the road. The road between Portage and Linkwater is heavily damaged. Uh, Cullen Point is a large slip there where houses have been damaged. Um, there's one Double Bay, there's also uh, some damage to some houses there. Compared to the 2010, this is a lot more isolated and concentrated. Essentially, a lot of it's around the, the roading network. The roads seem to have damaged quite a lot, but there's sort of more isolated spots rather than sort of widespread like there was in 2010. What we've been using as part of the, this response, just to grab some of the information and be able to almost give a situation where you're on site, is using a GoPro Max camera, and that allows you to get a 360 degree view of what you're looking at. And that allows, once you play it back, to be able to stop and look at any direction that you want to within it. So it almost gives you like a, as close to being in the real thing as possible. It's really good to have uh, residents' the ability to get onto Facebook and have a look and almost be sitting in their deck chair and being able to look around and see what we are seeing when we're out there in the helicopter. So right now, obviously, the event has happened and we're moving into a welfare stage. So we'll be looking to support the residents and help them with what they need, whether it be evacuation or food supplies, uh, and getting the roads open and yeah, looking out for their needs and actually assuring them to make sure we're, we're OK where they are.